to my Warriors, Rebels, and to all my IFL, IHFL family. It's with a heavy heart that I write these words, but it appears my time in Israel has come to an end. After more than 15 years in this land, and more than 8 years in the football leagues here, the time has come to retire my cleats and my coaching whistle, making room for the next generation of leaders to step up. This decision does not come at my own choice, but by order of the Ministry of Interior, which after a five-year battle to obtain residency, resulted in my family having to leave the country by the end of the month. Rather than be consumed with anger at the decision, I've decided that I will be thankful for the time and blessings that I was given here. It's here in this land that I met my beautiful wife and began a family with four amazing children. It's here that we fought through four heart surgeries for the life of my daughter under the watch of a caring medical team. It's here in this land where I had so many other unforgettable opportunities to volunteer on a kibbutz for five years, to get a master's degree from Hebrew U, to get involved in playing and coaching football, to help Holocaust survivors, survivors single parents and others through humanitarian aid work, and to help my wife achieve a dream by starting the nonprofit organization called Bears for Hope, in which many of you took part in building our vision of visiting kids in hospitals and passing out teddy bears to them. In short, it's hard to put into words how much I will miss this country, this sport, and each one of you that I have known, played alongside, or coached with over the years. Whether in sports or in life, when a man gets to the end of his time in a certain chapter of his life, he often looks back and reweighs the efforts of his past. During my time here, I've experienced many wins and losses. I've experienced being on both a team that lost every game of the season, and I've experienced being on a dominating championship team. But if I'll take away anything from these experiences, it's not the scores that I will remember most. It's something else. The thing I will treasure the most in this sport are the guys who are next to me. All the times when we faced adversity together and fought for each other. And all the times we celebrated and laughed together. I found brothers forever through wins and losses. Brothers who were there for each other both on and off the field. I hope that at the end of your career you will look back and find something similar. Another thing I learned in my career is that the true champion never allows himself to be defined by a score or by how other people try to define his successes or failures. Instead, the champion will test himself, apart from the criticism of, of others, asking himself if he used his gifts and abilities to the fullest potential. At the end of every season, every game, every practice, he asks himself, did I give my best, or did I just give enough to make it through? Did I learn from my mistakes and seek a plan to improve? Did I seek my own glory, or did I seek the best for my team above myself? Did I lead by example, striving to be a leader who serves those around me? Did I play by the rules and give a good testimony of sportsmanship that's worthy of my coaches and my teammates? The heart of a champion drives a person to finish strong in all he does, without complaining or passing blame to others, knowing full well that he did all that he could and held nothing back. One of the toughest tests of a champion are those times when the game clock is ticking down and it seems like all hope is lost. It's in those times that a champion will test what he's made of. The heart of a champion will not stop fighting until the final whistle blows. He will be the first to rally his brothers and push on, finishing strong no matter what the outcome. And then, even if his team falls short of the win, as the last second ticks off the clock, and even if the tears may roll, the champion does not sit in defeat. But as the fire burns in his heart, he presses on and begins immediately to prepare for his next battle. Brothers, my challenge to you is to strive to have the heart of a champion in all that you do. Whether on the football field or in life, strive to make good choices to love others the way that you want to be loved. Help those who are less fortunate 
and have mercy and learn to forgive those who hurt you. Use all that the Almighty has given you and waste nothing. Invest in the next generation, raising up leaders who will someday take your place, carrying on the knowledge and the heart to mold another generation of champions. Thank you to all who took the time, the effort, and the patience to invest in me as I grew as a player and eventually as a coach. Thank you for accepting and respecting me and my faith, even as a Christian living in a Jewish land. I can truly say that living in Israel has been some of the best years of my life. I love you guys, and I'll always look back to these times with a warm and overflowing heart, hoping that someday our paths might cross again. Until then, blessings from Coach Mike Vaselli.